in this lesson, let's set up some reference images as image planes in Maya to help our modeling process along. So let's open up a new scene here in Maya, and I'm just going to hit the space bar, and you can see that we have several orthographic views in addition to our perspective view. So what we want to do is bring in some reference images of, for instance, the side, the front, the top of the car that we're trying to create. And this is going to do a few things for us as we go through this project. Number one, it's going to allow us to use these different views to put our points and our edges in the right places based on all of those views and get something that looks very close to the reference art that we're trying to create. Uh, in this case, our Audi R8. So uh, it's going to allow us to get a, a closer approximation of that real world model. It's also going to allow you and I to get models that are much closer together without having to really worry so much about the placement of points and edges and things like that. So we really want to concentrate more on the techniques and the tools that we're using instead of spending so much concentration worrying about you know making sure that your point is exactly the same as my point. We'll both be working from the same images so we can both work off of that reference and, and really kind of free us up to, to talk a little bit more about the tools and techniques that we're using. So in order to bring in those images which we've provided with our project files, you want to go into one of your uh, views here. We'll go in the top view first. Let's go to view. We'll go and go down to image plane and let's import an image. Now in our source images folder you'll find four different images. We're going to go ahead and choose the top view and we'll bring that in. Now in the front we'll do the same thing here except we'll choose the front view. And let's go ahead in the side. We'll choose the side view. And there's one more that we don't really have a viewport for yet, and that is the back view. So we're going to go to Panels, Orthographic, New, and let's create a new back view. Okay, so this is now set to back. You can see that down here. So let's add an image plane. So we'll add the back view there. Okay, so right now you can see that these are not really set up in our perspective view the way that we want. If we were to build our car, they'd be kind of intersected by all of these. So in here they look kind of okay, but we really want the um, the grid to be in front, so we still have that reference grid. So let's do a few things. The first thing we'll do is size these up because we want our car to be closer to the uh, kind of specified uh, length, which I believe is like 435 centimeters, something like that. So let's increase the size of our image planes a bit. So with that image plane selected, we can select any of those, but we'll come in here to the image plane shape. We'll go to the width and height. I'm just going to change that to 450. Let's do that for all of these. So go ahead and add that one. And then this one. It's the back. And we've got the front there. All right, so now we want to kind of move these out of the way. So for the top view, we want to move it down under the grid. Okay, and so we're going to use the image center Y. I'm just going to middle mouse drag it down till it's sort of at the bottom of those other ones. You can see now that the grid's on top, so now we have that additional reference there to work from. For the side view, I want to push it away from the camera. So it's going to be going in the negative X. So image center X, middle mouse. I'm just going to pull this over. If you want to put a specific number in here, you, know, you can do that too, minus 250. So we've got the top view and the side view, which match up. Now for the front and the back, it's going to take a little bit more kind of moving around. So uh, you can see here we've got the kind of front camera, and then here's the back camera. Okay, so the front camera is looking at the front image, the back camera is looking at the back image. Okay, it makes sense. So let's take the front and let's move it back like we've done with these other ones. So we want to move it in the Z, so image center Z. And we start to move it back, we'll notice that now the front camera is seeing the back image. And so I'm just going to kind of move this back and let's select the back image and we'll move it in the opposite direction the other way and again if you want to put in a number in there you can so I'm just going to kind of pull these back 
And then I'll take the camera, so here's the back camera. I'm just going to move it in front of the front image. I'll we'll do the same thing over here. And I'm back here. So we're able to see now the front view here and the back view in here. Now if we look on the side view, you'll notice that the grid kind of goes right through the middle. So if this is the zero line of that grid, um, just because I kind of want it to the, the car to sit on top of that. So that would be the bottom plane there because that's where everything's going to be sort of created. I want to make that the center. not uh, Instead of the center, I want to make it kind of the bottom of the car. And so we can take this image plane and we'll start with the side view and we can move it up. So image center Y, start to move this up and you can just put in a nice round number there. 60 looks like it does a pretty good job. That way we can come into these other ones, put in the same number and then it'll move up. All right. Now we can turn the cameras off if you want to get rid of those green boxes there. The grid itself is a little bit small right now because we've scaled everything up so big. So if we want to, we can come into display grid and I'm just going to add an extra zero right there for the size. So the grid encompasses that whole thing. Now if you want to kind of check the alignment, one way to do that would be to come in and create something like a NURBS plane and let's just, just kind of scale it up make sure that smooth shading is on and then we can start to kind of just place it so let's say um, let's say the bottom of the rearview mirror so we'll look and say yeah that matches up with the bottom of the rearview mirror on every side let's go to the top of the car check all three yeah that matches up pretty well checking the bottom wheels those match up pretty well as we saw with the grid if you wanted to check kind of the the top of the tires you can kind of see that and so we can use this just to make sure that our image planes align because there's it's going to be pretty aggravating if we start to come in and use these as reference if they don't match up because then we're going to be matching up something in one view we'll go over and try to match it up in another and we'll move it and we'll just keep moving it back and forth because the the images themselves don't match up. So we just want to make sure that these match up uh, as much as possible. If we want to kind of move this back a little bit more, we can. So now when we create our car, now if we wanted to, we could look at the image planes in our perspective view. You know, it's very easy for us to turn these off, but I just really didn't want them to be right in the center of our geometry once we've got that in there. Okay, most of the time we'll be looking at these through our viewports. So that won't really be an issue, but I just wanted to kind of set that up just in case. Okay, so one last check, make sure everything is sort of aligned and where we want it. And now that we've got our reference images set up, we can go ahead in the next lesson and begin to model out our geometry. And we're gonna start in maybe a little bit of a, an un unusual way, I'm not sure uh, what you'll think, but um, I'm going to do it in a very specific way for a very specific reason. And so we'll start the geometry in the next lesson, building out the wheel arches, and then go from there and filling out the rest of the geometry as we start to build up our vehicle here in Maya. So we'll go ahead and do that next.